While working with assignments, sometimes you may want to use a Google Doc and have the students use that Google Doc and edit the Google Doc, but you want them to have their own copy of the Google Doc. And right now, Canvas and Google Drive aren't completely like in uh, synchronous, if I'm using that word correctly, but they can work hand in hand it, through a couple little steps that aren't too difficult. So going back to Google Drive, you find your uh, document that you want. If you look up at the web address here, it says edit. And what that does is if you're sharing that with students, that gives kids the ability to also edit the document, which means there's only one document that maybe 30 kids are editing. Maybe that's not what you want. What I would suggest, if you want them to have this like worksheet or template and you want them to make changes to it or add their own information, what you will do is you're going to just change the web address here, go over to copy, or sorry, edit, take away edit and type the word copy. Then what you're going to do is highlight the whole address, copy it. I'm a control C kid, but if you want to go to copy, there it is. See control C. So I'm going to hit control C. Well, let me get out of it first. I copied it. Now let's create my assignment. So here you know, title your assignment, the assignment. And what you want to do then is, um, I always say like click here for the document you will need to edit. And sometimes I like to make the font size a little bigger so it's obvious. And then highlight that, add a link, and then you're going to post then the link there with the copy, insert link. Now the font size changes, so you just have to go back and fix that. Oops, didn't highlight it. Make sure you highlight it. Font sizes, 18. There you go. So this is now a link. And what that's going to do is it's going to, um, I'm going to go into student view and show you what it's going to do. Um, maybe you've got some points assigned to that assignments. Um, maybe you want them to turn it in online. So they're going to turn in the um, website URL. They can also turn in the file if you want them to actually upload the document. Um, make sure you're clicking your add it to the grade system, give it a due date. So we'll say it's due next Friday and hit save just to check it out. I'll publish it here in a second. All right. Is that link linkable? Is it working? It does. See, it says copy assignment. So it is working. The link is working. So with that, uh, you're ready to rock and roll. So as a student, publish it, go to settings. I'm going to go to student view real quick so you can see it. I'm checking my homework. It's time to get some homework done. So I'm going to go to assignments and I've got the assignment to work on. So I say I need to do that. Still hasn't been created. So I'm going to click on it and it's going to take me to the instructions. So what I want to do first is I'm going to click on this link and it's going to take me to this thing that says copy document. Would you like to make a copy? Yes, I would. And what that does is that actually takes you to a copy that is then put into your Google Drive. So see copy of cheese worksheet. So the students now have their own version of the worksheet to work on or type. I do this with story templates that have some directions on there and then the students type the story underneath. And so then they can actually put the information that they want on the document. And I'm ready to turn it in. All right, I worked hard. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, two different things. First, I need to make sure the students share it with me. So make sure the students are typing in your email. So for me, it's eWilliam. There it is. So I'm sharing it and I'm sending it. So I have access to it. So you don't need to worry about that as the teacher. The student needs to worry about that. Uh, now, the next way to go about it is it's time to turn it in. So the student then needs to go to sub submit assignment and you can do a couple different things. The student could actually just like file, download the assignment as a Word document or PDF. And once they download it, they need to make sure they know where they download it and they can actually turn that file in. So choose file, go to where they saved it and turn in that file. What I like to do though is go to website URL. And because what I've done is as the student, since I've already shared the document with Mr. Williams, I have access to it. That means all I have to do as a student is click this copy. You can right click copy too. go to the assignment and actually turn in the URL and hit submit. And what that does is it's turned in and me as the teacher, I will show you what that looks like. So let's leave student view. All right, it's time to grade. This assignment has been submitted. So go to SpeedGrader and it'll open up SpeedGrader and I'm the test student. 
this is what happens. Um, it's going to do this link thing here, like sign into Google, but I'm already signed in. So all I have to do is click this link and guess what happens? It shows up in your speed grader. I can leave comments. So if I want to leave a comment, I can say, you know, you need to capitalize, need to capitalize Friday. Leave the comment. And so the student can see that. Um, maybe I want to be like, oops, you forgot to bold that. So let's make it bold. You can actually edit the document because the kids shared it with you and you get to see everything. And then when you're ready to grade it, they did wonderful work. Actually, they did and they spelled Friday, they lowercase Friday. It's 8 out of 10. And then submit that grade. And then what happens is the grade's already in the grade book out of zero. So they're already winning. And I've graded the assignment. As a student, if you look at the document, look what happens. There's my comment. There's the bold that I added. So you can actually, as long as the student shares the document with you, the teacher, the student can just take the link and then submit that link. And then what you get is the link and it opens it up in, in SpeedGrader on the computer. So technically, you don't have to open up Google Drive to get to this assignment. You just need to be in Canvas. So this is how I have students turn in stories and I work on the stories with them. I leave comments while they're writing. So even though I'm not ready to grade it yet, this still gives me a chance to, you know, leave comments for them, which is really cool. Click on the little comment bubble, leave comment, ta-da! And then the kids, when they're done, they can resolve those comments. And then when I go back to my copy, it disappears. So one way to really utilize Google Drive is to take the word edit on the website and then turn it into copy and paste that into an assignment. So when a kid clicks on it, they actually create the copy in Google Drive. And then when they turn it in, they just need to make sure they A, share it with you. And then they will copy paste the link into the assignment when they turn it in. And then that gives you the chance to then look at it and grade it and comment on it within Canvas. And so if you need to regrade as an assignment because they've made some updates to it, you can change the grade and everything. So it's very handy. So if that sounds like something you could do, I guarantee that you will probably like having that um, not needing to go to Google Drive and only staying in Canvas when it comes to documents. And that's the same for slides, Excel spreadsheets, for Google Drawings. Anything that you can a student can share with you in Google Drive can be linked as they turn it in as a link. And then when they turn it in as a link, you get access to the link and you can edit it within uh, Canvas or leave comments and stuff. So happy canvassing.